Buster, it's just it's like we've run them close to haven't we? That's probably as as good as it can get against a team like this, isn't it? Yeah, look, I thought the lads' intensity, they stuck to the game plan and, you know, we got our reward from it in the first half. Look, the first eight minutes we had to deal with the pressure and we said that to them, look, for the first 15 minutes of this game, you've got to really dig deep there, come out the traps, they're athletic, they want to run all over you, they want to get it down the sides of you and cross the ball and the lads put their bodies on the line in that defensive box and then we knew that we'd get moments on the break uh, and, you know, you go 2-0 up. Going in at half time, you just know that the job's not done. You knew that we'd need this similar level of intensity in the second half. And if, you know, I want to see the penalty back because it looks like it hits his head and then hits his hand and it's very harsh, but it kind of changes the game. It's eight minutes into the second half. You can see that goal and then the atmosphere here, the fans just like, it's, 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 it's hard. It's hard to fucking contain them, like really hard. Uh, but look, they're a top team. They, they'll win the league for me. And if I'm being honest, I think they'll win the league above. They're that good. Like their intensity, in the, like the 88th minute, Paddy Madden, he's sliding on the halfway line when they're four-two up. Their intensity and their desire to win a game of football is incredible. But uh, I'm hugely proud of our lads for the effort that they put in. Uh, look, we were dead on our feet once we got to the 60th minute, and you know, and I said to the lads after in the huddle that. That's where you as a young group, we've got to aim. That's where you want to be. If you want to have a career in the game and play higher, that's the levels you've got to aim to get to. The, the consistency of a first-half performance like that, but putting the same intensity and level of performance in the second half. And I, you know, That was it. We didn't win enough second balls all over the pitch. We weren't just in midfield or at the back or up front. All over the pitch, we didn't win enough seconds in the second half. And they got on top of us and run all over us, really, and they've just got serious quality. And then that was really the, going back to the first half, and looking at the positives, you know, that's some performers. It was, I'm thinking, FA Cup-like. I know they're in our league, but that was like a giant killing, wasn't it? Oh, 100%. The, la the lads were outstanding in the first half. Like, we probably could have gone in maybe three more, or four. Yeah, yeah. Like, we had some really good chances. Uh, don't get me wrong, like I said to you, in the first eight minutes, they had some decent chances, decent pullbacks, so we had to get blocks, but we had the better chances of the game. Uh, but look, they showed their maturity. They showed their quality. That you know, they stay composed even at two 0 to come out in the second half and show that composure. And I said, to, we said to the lads at half time, the next goal is huge. And you know, if it's going to be them, we can't concede it too early. You've got to get through that first batch of fifteen minutes, and we just couldn't. If I'm being honest, their quality and their athleticism, and it was just too much for us. And um, you'd say that about penalty is another unlucky decision. Uh, did you feel any sort of went against us that second half? Look, until you see it all back, the decisions that go against you, you, you it's hard to question it from where we are. It's right over at the far side, uh, so it's hard to say. Like our fans have probably got a better view of it than what we have uh, as a management team on the side, so it's very hard to comment on it to say whether that's it. But it, do, it changes the game. Like when they score, especially after eight minutes, it gets their towels up and they're ready to go. Uh, but you know, look, we got to learn from it. We have got to go away. Uh, we've got to keep the lads' confidence when we go again. We've got, we've got another week to prepare for our next game, and you know, we've just got to keep going and keep picking up as many points as we are and finish as high up this division as possible. And you say the fans there uh, again. I know every, well, I'm not saying it every away game, but immensely. I mean, there's nearly 8,000 people in here today, and you know, you could hear them just as much as the home fans. Oh, if you're going on performance levels, their performance for 90 minutes was outstanding. You know, they don't stop singing. They get behind the lads. Even when Stockport went three two up and then four two up, they carried on being positive with us and stuck with the lads. Uh, and I think that's been the biggest thing this season. I've said it before that you know, it feels like we've got that connection now for us as the management team to the players and everything as a football club. A lot of all in it together and we're all pulling in the same direction. It's a powerful tool, uh, and I think it's why we've picked the points up that we have picked up that we're all in it together. Look, we know at times they're going to be disappointed with some of the losses that we've had this year, but. It's not been many, and I think the fans have just been unbelievable. To dig deep in their pockets again, to travel all the way to Stockport on a Saturday again, it's, it's incredible. And you know, I'd like to thank them all for coming. I know there was a question. I think it was posed to Matt, maybe that, um, or maybe yourself, um, that after the Weymouth win, you know, we've got a, a very good points haul now, and you know, our, our league stats looked pretty safe for now, and the motivation. You know, could that be a problem then? And I think that I think the performance answers that question for you, doesn't it? A hundred percent. Look, the, the lads will not ever look at the league table and look at that. They're highly motivated. Like I said, we've got a very young, hungry group with lads that want to go on and kick on and have careers and play higher. Uh, so th there'll be no problem there. The lads will give everything. 
and that's that's all we can ask of them. And today they've absolutely given everything. Like we've had players coming off with cramp and stuff. So, you know, and that's what it takes. This is the level. This is the top end of this level, and possibly you're playing a team that's the top end of the, the league above. So, look, it's a huge credit to the lads at Dugby. We haven't got the result that we wanted. It would have been nice to get something out of the game, even though as good as they are. We believe in this group as a management team and we believe we could come here and get something. And, you know, when we're tuning up, you, you have that glimmer of, you know, coming away, we're getting something. And then lastly, uh, you say, you mentioned them young lads are wanting a career. Uh, Charles Claydon's had his loan extenders and he, for the end of the season, he was immense today, wasn't he? Oh, he's, a, he's got a very bright future in the game. He's got pace to burn. Uh, him and Aaron, the, the bright, like Aaron's free kicks, like it's up and over the wall, it's a great goal. So, you know, we're lucky to have them and we thank Cholton for extending their loans to the end of the season. Uh, yeah, they've, they've been top players for us since they've come in. They've, they've lifted the level all around the group. Okay, cheers for your time, Steve. Cheers. Cheers.